It was widely assumed that when Archie, who is now three years old, and Lilibet, who just turned one, were old enough, they would attend a private school in the area. However, it seems both the local private schools as well as the public schools have refused to admit Archie and Lilibet due to issues surrounding their birth certificates. Apparently, when Harry and Meghan applied to several top private schools in Montecito for Archie to start preschool this coming fall, they were all rejected. According to sources, the schools cited inconsistencies and anomalies on Archie's birth certificate that raised red flags and compliance issues. Specifically, they were concerned that Archie's birth certificate, which was issued in the UK, does not match US standards and contains ambiguous details. For example, Archie's birth certificate does not list Harry and Meghan's racial identities or ethnicities, which are standard to include on U.S. birth certificates. It also does not specify the hospital or facility where Archie was born, only listing the city of Windsor. In the U.S., the specific hospital or birthing center is required to be named. Additionally, the authorities listed on Archie's U.K. birth certificate as being present at his birth, like the midwife and attending physician, do not match records of who was actually present based on Harry and Meghan's description of Archie's home birth in their private residence Frogmore Cottage. Due to these inconsistencies and the birth certificate not meeting U.S. standards, the private schools refuse to admit Archie as they cannot comply with state requirements without a valid birth certificate on file. Harry and Meghan were apparently shocked and angered by the rejections, believing their royal status should entitle them to admittance. However, the schools made it clear they must follow regulations and cannot make exceptions, even for royal children. Not wanting to accept no for an answer or go through the difficult process of having Archie's birth registered in the U.S. from scratch, Harry and Meghan then attempted to enroll Archie in the local public schools. But they face similar issues, as while public schools have more lenient requirements, they still need a birth certificate that matches what is standard for a birth occurring in the U.S. or to a U.S. citizen abroad. Archie's UK certificate again did not comply. At this point, the admissions office of one of the schools finally broke silence on the matter. A spokesperson from the admissions office of the Montecito Union School District stated that upon reviewing Archie's documents, they noticed irregularities that did not match the true circumstances of his birth as publicly shared by Harry and Meghan. They said this raised concerns about the credibility and validity of the documents and whether Archie is legally able to attend public school without a proper U.S. registration of his birth. They would not elaborate on the specific discrepancies as that would be a violation of privacy rules. But it was clear that like the private schools, they could not enroll Archie without a birth certificate that was accurate and in line with U.S. standards. The failure of both private and public schools to admit Archie has caused quite a backlash against Harry and Meghan from royal experts and citizens alike. Many believe that if they did not want to follow UK protocols and recordings of vital stats like births, they should have had Archie's birth registered in the US immediately like other celebrity children born abroad. Others argue they seem to expect special royal treatment and exemptions even after removing themselves from being working royals. And some have suggested the irregularities raise valid questions about the accuracy of the official documentation of Archie's birth. It has added to the couple's already controversial image in the public eye. So as of now, it seems three-year-old Archie remains in limbo, neither able to attend a private school, which was supposedly Harry and Meghan's preference given their affluent lifestyle, nor able to utilize the public school system all due to issues with his birth documents not being recognized on this side of the pond. Many are wondering how this will impact little Lilibet's future education endeavors as well, as she too would face the same registration problems. And there is speculation this whole ordeal may actually push Harry and Meghan to seriously consider moving elsewhere, perhaps back to the UK or Canada, where the children's royal titles and documentation would not face the same legal hurdles. Time will tell how it all unfolds. But one thing is for sure. Harry and Meghan finding themselves in yet another public relations mess. This time impacting their children's schooling. Due to bureaucratic technicalities around birth registrations that perhaps could have been avoided with better forward planning on their part. It will be interesting to monitor how the couple handles this situation going forward. And if they decide to go through the lengthy process of registering the births in the U.S. and obtaining new birth certificates.
That route may resolve the school admission issues, but also opens their personal documents to greater public scrutiny here. Clearly adjusting to life outside the royal institution and having to conform with rules like other families has proven more complex than perhaps they anticipated in some arenas. Even for a famous couple used to constant public attention. Only time will tell how this all plays out, but it's definitely an unusual headache for any parents to have to deal with. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this whole convoluted saga in the comments below. Do you think Harry and Meghan should have sorted out the birth registration sooner? Are the schools right to refuse admittance due to the discrepancies, or is this just bureaucracy run amok? Could have been handled better on all sides? Share your opinions, and let's discuss. As always, don't forget to share this video with anyone who may find the topic interesting. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more juicy royal updates and discussions. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in my next video.